I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. 
Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dipney seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. him at all. Troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair all. I'll go and see what he wants. thing for Officer Singer to worry about.
Repair her. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a clap. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Revelio, you inclined. You're most welcome to... At your leisure. Revelio. Hello there. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona. The owner. She's a good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well.
No, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, 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 timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. Certainly glad Sorona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. <laughs> 